Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This is Clarissa Myers, better known as Reese by many of my friends. Good morning, and I'm Roland Myers, her husband. Yes, my better half. Roland and I, we come every morning just to share a nugget or two uh, on tips uh, that can help you in your personal life and also in your business life. And uh, I, we are speaking to spiritual entrepreneurs, people who, uh, who expect more, who want to be more, want to do more, want to contribute more, who want to be more impactful in the world around them. And we have some golden nuggets today. Yes. Yeah, so those of you coming on, we do want you to tell us where you're tuning in from. Always do that. And we are, almost, almost forgot to do that. We are tuning in or we're coming to you live from Richmond, Virginia. And uh, please tell us where you are tuning in from. You know, we do love to, to know who's joining us. Oh, okay. And uh, so this morning, um, you know, I was very curious. As I've been listening and studying uh, and reading about um, Tony Robbins, you know, he said that his mentor was um, Jim Rohn. And I've been listening to Jim Rohn and in talking, no, I didn't speak to him, but in, in listening and learning from Jim Rohn, he mentioned that his mentor was um, John Earl Schof. And so and I heard Tony Robbins mention um, Earl Schof, and I heard um, Jim Rohn, he mentioned him several times. So I was very curious to know, well, okay, what does uh, J Earl Schof have to say? So I was listening to one of his uh, podcasts, and <coughs> excuse me, he was talking about the power that we have within us. We all have this um, power that's not activated within us. And so I'm like, okay, how do you access that power that's within? So in listening to him, he was talking about um, we all have the conscious mind and we have the subconscious mind. And the, the activity, the, the power is hidden in your subconscious mind. So if we can get to that level, that's where activity takes place. Good morning, Glenn. Glad that you can join us this morning. I can wave to you. Good morning, Daniel. Danielle. Yeah, Danielle, good morning to you. And, um, oops, okay, hold on. I was almost bringing you on camera. Good morning, Sipo. Good morning, Elder Charles. Uh, thank you for joining us this morning. All right, so I can send a wave. So as he was talking about the subconscious mind, he was saying that we all are likened to farmers. You know, what farmers do, they plant, right? They plant seeds. And um, they have to know specifically what type of seed to plant for it to yield the specific vegetable or fruit. If you just grab a handful of seeds and you know you plant them in the ground, you're not really sure what's, what's coming. So you have to be specific. And so those seeds are likened to our goals, our dreams. And for us to, to yield or to get what we want, because according to, to our shelf, we can get anything that we want, everything that we want, if we know the secret, if we know the formula. So I was listening some more to him and, you know, they, they called uh, Earl Schultz the millionaire maker because people who he's talked to, who he's counseled, they all took the action on the guidance and the things that he said and they were able to do what he did in four years, become you know wealthy. So I was interested to know, and you can look him up for yourself, he said that Whatever your dreams are, whatever your goals are in life, you are to write them down. Now, you can't just write it down and say, okay, I want a, I want a new car or a new house. You know, <laughs> he gave examples about someone wanting a, a new car, you know. Mm -hmm. And oh, you want to tell them that one? <laughs> the well, yeah, someone wanted a new car. They said, well, I want a Cadillac. And uh, so, uh, how'd it go? Yeah. And he received a Cadillac, but it was a 1937 Cadillac. <laughs> An old beat up An old thing. beat up car. He said, I don't want this car. <laughs> uh, but then uh, it came back. Well, you weren't specific what you didn't want. 
Well, if you want a 1994 Cadillac, a red one, then you need to say that. Exactly. So, in our, whatever our goals are, we have to be specific. We have to write them out. But you don't just write them out. And, the, and this is, he says, where a lot of people make mistakes. You know, they write down their goals, and then they go back, and they look at it, and they read it, and they say, he says, you, you write it down, be as specific as you can. After you've written it down, you fold it up, and on the outside of it, you write, thank you. That's from the law of acceptance, saying that I accept this thing, whatever it is that you've written down. And then you put it away. You tuck it away somewhere. Put it somewhere where you know it is, but you don't go back to it, and you don't keep looking at it. You don't, re you know, it, it's just like a farmer who's planted a seed. The farmer doesn't go back out into the field and dig it up to see, okay, is it growing yet? You know, they don't keep tampering with it because when you're doing that that's where you're interjecting doubt into your life right he doesn't ask himself well what kind of vegetable or fruit is that so he keeps digging it up right you know you have to um, wait for it to yield to figure it out but you yeah. have to before you plant it you need to know what you're planting yeah so you can manage those expectations yes you know? so um what else did he say um uh, fundamental laws yeah you want to yeah, well, there are certain fundamental laws, and one that he brings out is the law of gravitation. Now, that works regardless of who we are and where we are. Um, you know, things are going to fall. Uh, we don't understand how it works, but we know it works, and uh, it works for everyone. And then there's the laws of electricity, mm -hmm. and he points out even a three-year-old child can flick one switch in a house and they'll cut the lights on. Okay, so um, there's certain things that go into play and you know that switch and the wires and stuff is a conduit which makes these things happen. Right, and so the same way that those laws, those universal laws happen, he says that this happens as well, you know. You know, I was just thinking about there are laws of health, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, certain things that we need to do in order to maintain our health. I know that's something that we'd be exploring this year now that we're retired and we can really focus, you know. And, yeah. Uh, and so let's see, what else did he say? He the says... Of success. <laughs> yeah. let, let, no, no, you go ahead. You let's, go ahead. No, no, no. You well, go ahead. He was just talking about the laws of success. And, uh, you know, the laws of poverty. poverty, okay, which is a lack of success. Um, what if there are some things that we are doing or people are doing that's preventing us from being successful? And he gave that example. He says, um, you know, and I, and I think um, Jim Rohn used it as well. Talked about when you wake up in the morning, some of us have a routine. You know, some people go to the mailbox, or whatever, they pick up the newspaper that's thrown on the front porch, and they sit down and start reading. You know, again, what you put into your mind, we have to be gatekeepers of our minds, you know, and what you're putting into your mind uh, and expecting something different to come out in terms of your life, you know, you, you're reading all this, you know, like maybe, you know, robbery and all these horrible things in the newspaper. Yeah. And then you turn around and expecting to have positivity, positivity coming out of you. So what you put in... It's what you expect to come up. Oh, yeah. And he said something, and, and it reminded me of a, a, an experience that I had. You know, um, when I was, I think, in like sixth grade in, in elementary school, uh, I saw a, a teacher taking a shortcut to the school. And instead of going, taking the long road, which was a long way around, she took the shortcut to school to come over this very steep hill. And hmm. see, she had some heels on, and I was saying to myself, oh, I can imagine what happened. Yeah, I said, I wish she would fall. And that was not a very nice thing. I know it was not a nice thing to say. But I said, I wish she would fall. And I was saying it to my friend. I didn't even get the words fall out of my mouth when she came tumbling, rolling down the hill. I mean, it's not really yeah, funny because she really she hurt herself. And that's when it dawned on me for the first time as a child growing up that words do have power. And I was telling you yesterday, was it this week? Mm -hmm. Don't say, don't yeah. say that, you know, because words do have power. And uh, we should speak positive things, you know, expect positive things in our lives. And um, let's see, did I forget it? 
Go ahead. Did you want to say something? No. Okay. Um, he says that we are creators. Nothing comes to us. He says everything comes through us, from us. So everything that you send out or what you give out will come back to you um, multiplied. And I think I made a little poster on that. He says we must have positive attitudes towards our dreams. Uh, and most people's dreams don't come true because, you know, they're afraid of what it's going to cost them. You know, and so that's like doubt, you having doubt about yourself. So we need to have uh, great expectations about our lives, you know. And I just want to add, there is a spiritual dimension to this. You know, we don't want to leave out the Almighty. It's faith. Mm -hmm. Yes, the faith, having faith. Because, um, wait, go ahead. I'm, I'm, then, I didn't mean to cut you, know, you off. And there's one that gives us that faith. Yeah. And gives us that power within. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so that's what we have for you this morning. Uh, we thank you for joining us. And you know, yesterday I did have a link in the description um, where you can uh, join this group that you can get information galore that can help you in your business. Uh, and it's just $10, 10 days for $10. It's uh, a link somewhere in there. Good morning, Cousin Jay from Chicago. Glad that you can join Roland and me this morning. Who else? This oh my, several other people came on. Uh, let's see. Good morning, Gregory. Good morning to you. Do me a favor, please. <laughs> if you would share this out, if you've gotten any value from anything that we've said, please do share it out. You know, because um, sometimes we find ourselves going in circles and we wonder well, what's going on, and so it could be in in turn it could be our views or our our attitude towards you know, our goals and dreams. We have doubt, self-doubt, and we, we want to push that out. <laughs> uh, good morning, Esther. Good morning to you. Tell us where you're tuning in from. And uh, let's see, did I you miss? like a Russian last name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good morning, Greg. Oh, I said Greg. Thank you, Gregory. Thank you for um, joining us this morning. And do tell us where you're tuning in from. Evelyn, good morning to you. Glad that you can join us this morning. And... Um, I know, Evelyn, you're in somewhere in uh, New York, and uh, let's see, Sequa, 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 Emmanuel, uh, good morning to you, we can send a wave, hello, and uh, Barry, good Barry morning, Jonah. you know Barry? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if this is the person I'm thinking about. Okay, good morning, Barry, good mm -hmm. morning, and good morning, Jill, I know you have to get on your way to school, um, anyway, we are... Uh, Again, every every morning we come and share a nugget or two, and um, since I've been very interested in some of these greats um, and their thinking and what they have done in their lives to uh, to activate the power that we have within, uh, I set out on a mission to find out. So we thank you for joining us this morning. Be sure to click on the link in the description if. If it's something that you'd like to find out more, because I'm speaking to spiritual entrepreneurs who want to move forward in their life, who want more, want to do more, want to contribute more, want to have more, and uh, influence or impact their world. Mm -hmm. All right, anything else you want to say? No, just stay positive and embrace the power within and from on high. That's right, that's right. So we thank you for joining us, and you will see us tomorrow, Friday, at oh, 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Have a great, powerful, impactful day. Bye now. Bye-bye.